Okay, I'm at the train museum in Coos Bay, Oregon. Here's steam locomotive 104. Nice and big. Nice big wide view here, but the cool part is, notice they have it actually on rails. This other stuff running around, those are lights, so it looks cool at night. So, those are the Ooh, <laughs> the bell works. Automatic oiler, brake air reservoir. A lot of these things they have labels on them, so you know what you're looking at. Otherwise, you just see this mystery box. I'm like, oh, weird, it's got a hand crank on it. What in the world is that for? I didn't even notice that before. But yeah, it's got all sorts of stuff here. I guess that's to release the pressure in the air brakes. So let's see, it's two, eight, two locomotive. Weird, look how the boiler is sloped a little bit. Well, maybe this is the boiler. That's the firebox. I don't know all the details of what I'm looking at. Wow, this thing is so huge. Remember, I'm standing up. I'm only six feet tall, and I'm like <laughs> barely even up to the boiler. Wow, this is crazy. Sand tubes below sand for traction. I've never seen a freight train do that, but I know max light rail trains, they do that because, uh, you know, if the rails get wet, they lose traction so they can drop sand on it. It's the train equivalent of putting chains on or traction tires on. Look at the size of this hose here. This is a locomotive. It doesn't work. It's not in usable condition, but look at this. They got all sorts of connections here. It'd be, some would be for the um, water. I'm assuming this is oil powered. I think steam trains are oil powered. But also the brake lines and then chains. Notice the couplers aren't even connected though. In fact, I think, weird, that's a funny looking connector. Coupler. I'm not even sure how this thing works. But it's got some other big connection here. See if I add, I should ask for a guided tour so they can explain to me what in the world I'm looking at. <laughs> Steam engine number 104, 73 ton, 282, Makoda type. See, now I gotta look up what the heck Makoda type means. Huh. We're allowed up on the caboose, but the, uh, the stairs we're allowed to use are on the other side. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, I didn't look underneath the tinder car, did I? Hold on, as long as I'm here. Notice these couplers, they're together. It's not really couples, they're just near each other. Parking convenience. Wow. Not a lot under here. Just a bunch of open space and connections. At least they have it on rails instead of like sinking in the mud or something crazy like that. So treat it with a little dignity, even though it's basically a piece of scrap metal. <laughs> it's a nice piece of scrap metal, okay. But anyway. Jeez, this is, I swear this looks like dirt. This brown stuff up here looks like ordinary dirt to me. Eh, whatever. Caboose number 1134. Couple of style 54,000, blah, blah, blah. OCHR acquired. I guess that's where I am, OCHR. <sighs> Look at this. There's nails hanging through there. Make sure you watch your head if you stand under there. You don't want to drive, you know, your head right into a nail and impale it yourself. That'd be like a good sequel to Final Destination or something. All right. 11269, Burlington Northern. I really like that green and white color scheme. It's pretty. Burlington Northern Santa Fe, and now what is it? Kind of orange? It's not the same. Yeah, that's some serious dirt and rust under there. ASFF 21353 patented. Ooh. Darn, I was gonna go home and make a copy. <laughs> I'm not even sure what this is for. See the mechanism here? I'm assuming it's some kind of braking mechanism.
got all sorts of weird connections here. It's a technical term, weird. Huh, some kind of hose. Oh, wait a minute, that might be drain for draining the toilet. I think outhouses have a toilet, so that must be so they can connect it to something. What do they call it, black water or gray water? Sewer water, basically. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to look underneath here. Heaven forbid, what is this thing? Let me go back here. Oregon Coast Historical Railway. 111, huh? Alrighty then. Weird, this hose comes down there. I swear it almost looks like it's gonna oil the rails. <laughs> Less traction. I seriously don't know what that's for. That's just what it looks like. Man, look at all the gross grease and stuff. Makes me wonder, okay, how much of that is normal and how much is it from sitting here for years on end? Obviously, if you're out running on the rails, there's a lot of normal use, wear and tear and so on. Wow. Look at this thing, it's like a big piston. Is that for the brakes? Oh yeah. There's all sorts. Oh yeah, see that's the electric motor for the wheels. One, one pair of wheels. I guess, what's funny, that looks like an electric motor. Huh, it's hard to see what I'm looking at down there. I don't even know what's in this mystery box. Bunch of stuff. Well, it didn't say keep out. Oh, well, it's not really open. All right, I won't mess with it. Huh, some kind of connection that's not made right now. Wow, look at all this cool stuff. A giant pipe dream. Maybe they could film the sequel to Super Mario Brothers in here. All right. Wonder if emergency fuel shut off, Paul. Something tells me that's not necessary right now. Wow, nice big electric motor. It's the same coupler and air brake hose like any other locomotive. And here we are, a small locomotive, Plymouth. Wow. This one, they said it, it was running on propane. That's kind of cool. Two whole wheels, just like your regular car. Plymouth. There's the propane tank. 1927 Plymouth switch engine. Alrighty then. This is a weird, it's like a smaller connector than I would expect. Hmm, not sure what that means. Besides nothing. Well, look at that chain. Interesting. All sorts of cool connections in here. <laughs> 